Hey guys, welcome to another installment of Tweak Fix. In this video, I'm featuring the single most requested game on my channel, Arma 2. Well, actually, DayZ is the most requested, but as we all know, DayZ is an Arma 2 mod, so to play DayZ, well, you get it. Anyways, I'd like to take this moment right off the bat to say I was wrong. I've told countless people so far that Arma 2 is unplayable on the Radeon HD 3000. I just found out this ain't true. Up until now, I've based the playability of this game on the free-to-play version that you can download online. I figured that there was no difference between it and the retail version, and I was very wrong. In fact, I didn't even need to tweak or mod this version in any way to get it to a smooth frame rate. All I did was simply lower every setting as low as possible, and I got 50 frames per second. So, to anyone that asked about the playability of Arma 2 on my channel, I'd just like to apologize right off the bat for being a f***ing idiot. And yes, I just censored my cursing, since this is a family-friendly channel. Okay, okay, mostly family-friendly. But anyway, seriously guys, I was wrong, and I'm sorry. So, let's go ahead and look at some gameplay now. First, we're going to take a look at the settings. You'll notice they're as low as they can possibly be. I'm pretty sure, though, you can get away with increasing the texture quality a bit in the advanced options without a significant frame rate drop. But we'll keep uh, the settings as is for now, for the sake of the video. But feel free to customize these settings, and just let me know if you guys come up with a good configuration. As you can see, lowering the settings this low has a huge impact on graphical quality. So, like I said in the last episode of Tweak Fix, I don't endorse playing a game like this, but if you absolutely have to play it, then at least you can. All right, now come back to me and fall in. For anybody that saw the last episode of Tweak Fix, so, doesn't this kind of remind you of Skyrim after today. we installed that boost mod? Here. You should drive to the Just a little bit, right? Range. Same kind of blurriness going on. Some stuff for you but there. on the bright side, at least now. we didn't have to install a mod to get this thing to work properly. Let's squeeze a few off on the range, Pat. Ha! Uh, he said squeeze off. Family friendly. Family friendly. Damn it. Hi, Coops. Take some ammo first. Also, keep in mind while you're watching this that Fraps is being used to record this gameplay, which causes a slight frame rate drop. So imagine this, only smoother. I know what a lot of you guys are thinking right now, which is, is he going to shut the hell up and let us enjoy the rest of the video? Yes, yes I am. But I'd just like to say really quick that I am sincerely sorry that I told a lot of people that this game is not playable. Well, it is playable. Looks like garbage. But playable nonetheless. But in the next episode of Tweak Fix as well, we're going to be covering Crisis, which is requested by Assassin Force 23. Name should be on screen. Boom. Anyway, guys. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video.
Excellent shooting, Coops. You actually beat Miles by a point. All right, let's see how you do with your secondary weapon. Move to the second lane, take the pistol, and take down a few targets. Just free shooting, no points. <laughs> 